So we're here next to the wheel. We still got 9% battery remaining, so we're gonna make the best out of it. Uh, first time here, uh, you can see the amazing view. All the entire city, all Seattle, our ship is right there, and the aquarium is right here. So, um, let's see how our day goes. The Seattle Great Wheel is a ferris wheel that was built in 1962. Okay, so these tickets look really fancy. And we are here at the... Yeah. Wheel. The Great Wheel of Seattle. The Great Wheel of Seattle. Not of London, Seattle. <laughs> the big wheel is 150 feet tall and it has a diameter of 120 feet. It has 40 gondolas that can each hold up to 8 people. The big wheel is one of the most popular attractions in Seattle center. Each ride takes about 10 minutes and the view is spectacular, especially if you're lucky and the day is sunny. <laughs> it's our cabin! <laughs> yeah, one of us is bigger. My single, my single share cabin or uh, on this? You guys have any good first seat on top of the hood? I'm gonna enjoy the ride. Alright, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Alright. Are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> yeah, let's see what you use better. The wheel or the space wheel? It's gonna be different. <laughs> We're recording with our phones <laughs> because uh, the camera didn't charge. Someone I promise you, I put it to charge it, but it didn't work. Uh, but I promise you, I charged it. <laughs> so here we are in the big wheel of Seattle. Uh, view is amazing. Luckily, they keep us here on the top um, while other people are getting in. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes. So far, this is our full ride. It goes quite fast, comparing with. Um, Compared to the one in London, uh, this one is going very fast. Um, and we're moving again, and Monica here is a little scared of uh, <laughs> heights, which I didn't know. Yeah, for some reason, Monica is scared of heights, yeah. but the view is not as high as the Spain Needle. In the Spain Needle, no, she was not. doing great. Uh, she even saw me. Maybe just the motion of this. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> Our ship is right there. The view is amazing here, all Seattle. Actually, the Spain Needle is right there on our left. Um, Chris one in the house, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I wonder if I'm in frame. <laughs> yeah, you know, what, what, what I will say is, for people who have just started vlogging, they are already very far more advanced than I ever was <laughs> when I first started. I didn't know how to speak yeah. in front of the camera when I, I first started vlogging. <laughs> Monica's better than she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's better than she thinks. Me, I probably people are like, what is that guy saying? <laughs> well, Chris, Chris Wong approves of what he's seeing right now. After, after video number three or four, it's already, <laughs> yeah. it's already pretty good. You know you should get one of those uh, cars, like, probe. Chris Wong approves. It's one of our last times here in Seattle. We have probably this one and one more, as uh, the three of us are going home soon. We're going for our holidays, so we're making the best out of it in Seattle. Plus, we don't have um, an extended time to go outside in Seattle. We have only a couple of hours. Comparing with other ports in the United States, usually we can go out for six, seven hours. Here in Seattle, they give us only three hours. Uh, plus, it's a Friday, so it's traffic around, so we have to make the best out of it. And today, I think, is one of the best days. Uh, this was Chris' idea, actually, and I'm really, really happy we came here. <laughs> the view is amazing. It's really taken. That's why we have a little sun. It was very great in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, now it's like came out.
Yeah, how was the wheel? Excellent! I really, really enjoyed it. We had the perfect weather. The sun came out because I was out. And of course, we decided to go and eat something. As you can see, I got a burger. Chris won uh, the buffalo chicken sandwich, which was a little bit spicy. Monica had the chicken wings and a burger with very nice waffle fries. So we're going back now, since we don't have uh, much time left. Uh, beautiful Seattle. Actually, this part was very nice, the city piers. It is very nice, and we found this walking. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of stairs and then it's like a That's what it looks like in Italy, that place with the stairs. Yeah, but a very modern <laughs> area. It's a very nice area. Actually, I really love Seattle. And of course we love Seattle. This is why the following week we have to come and see the most famous attraction in Seattle. The Space Needle. The Space Needle is a tower in Seattle, Washington. It is 605 feet tall and 138 feet wide at its base. It was built for the 1962 World's Fair, which drew over 2.3 million visitors. When it opened, the Space Needle became the tallest structure west of Mississippi River. It is also the city's most recognizable landmark. It has an observation deck at 520 feet and a rotating restaurant, the Sky City, at 500 feet. It is built to withstand winds up to 200 miles per hour and earthquake of 9.1 magnitude. It also has 25 lightning rods to prevent damage from lightning strikes. Approximately 1.3 million guests visit the Space Needle per year. And nearly 60 million visitors have visited the tower since it opened in 1962. It takes about 43 seconds to travel in the Space Needle's elevator from the ground to the tower's top level. And this is it for today, guys. Which attraction do you like more? Was it the Great Wheel of Seattle or was it the Space Needle? Please let us know below in the comments. Most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. This is it for today and ciao for now!